<laughs> We're drawing attention to the dog mess on our pavements by spraying it gold. <laughs> Another idea from seeing Rod Stewart in concert. <laughs> Mr. Giles, Chris Searle. Hello, Chris. So, how long does it take to become a leading transplant surgeon? Uh, well, Chris, about uh, 10 years of medical school, 15 years postgraduate research, uh, probably 20 years training in a teaching hospital, and oh, about 10 years specialization. And I've got just eight days. <laughs> oh, well. In for a penny. Patfield Hospital, Monday morning, 10 o'clock. And my first meeting with the parents of the boy whose heart transplant I'm going to perform. So how do you raise the money for your son's operation? Well, we, we remortgaged our house. And my sister and my uncle and the two brothers in, in California, they, they cashed in their life insurance. That's right. And half the village has sold itself to property speculators to start an appeal. So you're quite keen for the operation to be a success. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, time to get the show on the road, then. Now, Chris, let's find out what you know about the human body, shall we? Do you know where the heart is, for example? There? Oh, you're not a million miles away, Chris. It's actually just up there, you see. Is it really? Here. <laughs> well, here we are. My first stab at assisting in an operation. I've only been here three hours, but I've already learned there's definitely more to heart transplant surgery than meets the eye. You don't just bung it in. There's all sorts of blood vessels and arteries and fiddly things like that to join up. Replacement heart, Chris. <laughs> now, is this the one to go in, or the one that's just come out? <laughs> well, Chris, D-Day is drawing near. It certainly is. Yes, and we've got to find a replacement heart for young Timothy. Oh, yes. Now, what sort of heart are we after? Well, well, it's um, not going to be easy, is it? Because no. the donor has to be the same age, same blood group, same everything. Good luck. <laughs> Two hours to go, and I still haven't found a donor. It's a dash of... <laughs> well, it looks like my lucky day, after all. big moment has finally come. Well, good luck, Chris. <laughs> Have you got the heart? <laughs> You're on your own now. Your attempts to involve yourself in the intricate and complex medical treatment of that young boy's serious condition were an unmitigated disaster. I had been warned that I might end up in front of a medical tribunal, and sure enough, they threw the book at me. I sentence you to 15 years imprisonment. <laughs> so join me in at the deep end in two weeks' time to find out how I get on in my attempt to break out of Parker's. <laughs> In my opinion, these press stories about the loony left are not exaggerated. We do have a loony left. I'm actually doing a marvellous job around the country. 